Hey, what's up, everybody? It's been a couple of days since my last video where I was talking about 10 of the things that I was doing to essentially try to get Google to realize I still exist and my website still exists. I'm down like 90% still on my traffic. Just trying to let, remind Google that like I'm here and I have feelings. Not that Google cares about my feelings. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I'm seeing uh, on my website. Uh, my name is Rob and I've wanted to start this channel, if I'm being honest, for months because prior to this HCU, uh, I had a website that was doing very well. I had earned almost half a million clicks over the last 12 months and had learned quite a few things uh, and made some money through affiliate sales. The reason I wanted to start this channel was because I'm not an SEO expert. I'm not a whiz kid. I'm not an SEO smarty pants. I wanted to start it because I'm just some average regular bozo from the Midwest who works really hard and learned some things while he was building his website and getting this traffic. And I thought it'd be fun to share this and share some of these things that I've learned. Now I find myself as an average bozo from the Midwest in this giant hole from the HCU. So, you know, better late than never to start the channel. So a lot of those things that I wanted to talk about when things were going really well, I'm hoping to return to that at some point. But right now it's a lot of what do you do whenever you find yourself in a giant hole with your website and you lose a lot of your traffic, how do you find your way out of it? So uh, if all that stuff's in your wheelhouse, hit subscribe, hit like. I appreciate you guys hanging out and I appreciate the conversation. Let's get into some of what I'm seeing on my website this week. A um, couple of things I really wanted to point out about what I'm seeing with my traffic here over the last couple of days. So one of the things here, I talked about this in one of my earlier videos, was this massive spike in my average position after I got nailed by the HCU. And somebody made a brilliant comment on the, the, that video and said, probably what happened is the reason that your average position is going up because you've lost so many keywords that the ones that are left over are basically just higher ranking. And I think that was spot on. Mathematically, I think it was spot on. I think it was totally right. So yesterday it was interesting because then I see this big drop here in my position. I went from like a 10A to a 14.6. It's the first kind of big drop uh, that I've had like that in a while. I've had similar ones, you know, kind of through here, but those were different times. This is not the same time. And so I thought to myself, well, I wonder if that's a sign that more keywords have been added, that I'm gaining keywords back, right? And um, I want to show you something in relation to that in a second, but keep that in your back pocket. Did more keywords return that caused that to dip? We had a couple of things. It looks like we're having a slight turnaround here at the bottom with traffic, but all of it's still duty. So like whatever, but I'm taking, I'm getting any glimmer of hope and holding on to it right now uh, as far as signals that maybe I'm on some sort of right direction to, uh, to help kind of at least put this on the right path. And uh, so, yeah, so what I wanted to show you specifically about the keywords and that dip is it seems like here in the core update that we're in the middle of, hopefully in the, hopefully towards the end, but, um, that was absolutely the case. The reason that that dipped back down, here it is actually, um, let me see here, yesterday. October 9th, I had a big uh, increase in uh, incoming new keywords that did not exist on the day prior. In fact, I've gone through here and I've made a little bit of a list of what I have seen since October 2nd uh, in regards to what was I gaining that didn't exist the day before and what did I lose that didn't exist the day before. And, you know, what's interesting to me is it's easy to concentrate on what you lost, but it's nice sometimes just to see the opposite side of this. Like on this day, I gained more than I lost. This one here lost, this one here lost, but this one here I won. Only by 50, but Jesus, I'll take it at this point. Lost. Here's one that was not much, but I'll take it. Not much, but I'll take it. And then yesterday I had a really big gain here. And then, I'm sorry, this was two days ago, the ninth. Then yesterday, uh, Basically, it handed it right back to me, right? So for the entire time since the second, I'm actually only down 556 keywords. It's still a lot, but sometimes it's good to have context, not just on the negative, but maybe try to get some ideas of some good things that are happening. You know, it's interesting. I actually woke up this morning and one of the first things I saw on Twitter was somebody talking about they were seeing crazy volatile SERPs today specifically and yesterday. And, you know, having kind of see this big jump of gain and then big dump of loss, kind of works hand in hand with that. But it's interesting to see that and put that into context with maybe that's exactly what happened and exactly why it popped back up again was because a lot of those keywords are now uh, gone. But there's a couple of things that I do think that is interesting is there, I think that one of the things I'm trying to be careful of is expecting rankings immediately if things start to come back. Like I've, I've accepted that that's not gonna happen, but what I am wanting is maybe just those keywords to show up again. Um, things that were ranking two, three, and four before, I'm fine if they come in at 60 right now because they're not there. They're just, a lot of them are just simply gone. And I am seeing some returns of some things. So like, for example, uh, here is an article that has now popped for a low, low volume, but I'll take it. 
uh, the CJC 1295 Eva Morella and reviews. Uh, this particular article, let me actually show you. Uh, I wrote it just a few months ago because um, this is actually something that I do videos about on my YouTube channel. These are uh, human growth hormone sec uh, secretagogues. Uh, they're injections, treatments that you take. And it's a very popular uh, topic on my YouTube. A lot of interaction, a lot of people follow me because, or, you know, and, uh, somewhat, you know, people follow me because of this. And so, um, this was doing very well. I thought, you know what, it's popular over there. I'll just write an article because there wasn't a lot of review articles of people that have been through the process. And you can see here it was going quite well until the HCU totally boned it and knocked it out of pretty much the universe. But it does seem like some of that is starting to come back. I can see here now this one is number four, which was actually, this keyword was my number one keyword for that particular article during that time. Even though it's low, uh, low volume, it was still doing quite well. Another one is over here, the what's the lunk alarm. I've talked about this a little bit in the past. It's up to number six now. It had just disappeared for a while before. So I am seeing some things return into the top 10, but I don't care, honestly, if they're in the top 10 right now. I just want the keywords to return. They can't rank if they don't exist. I just want them to exist right now. And that's kind of my focus is trying to get them just to appear somewhere at this point. Um, I wanted to show you one more thing just to kind of give you a general synopsis of where I'm at now over the last 30 days. Now, AREFs, obviously, whenever it's doing its keyword scans to try to figure out traffic, it's always a little bit behind. Like sometimes it doesn't scan certain things for uh, a week or more. So, but just to give you a general idea, still down over 25K for uh, the month on total keywords. Uh, you know, a lot of those were top three. Obviously, that's where the traffic was at. But I just kind of wanted to show you. It's odd, though, during this time frame. It seems like over here in the backlink profile, things have been going pretty okay for me. So whatever that's worth at this point, traffic's gone. So who cares, kind of. And so that's really all that I wanted to share with, with you all. Um, you know, I'm trying to get any sort of glimpses of hope into, um, you know, anything that's going on. I'm over here guessing at what I'm doing. Uh, you know, trying to see what sticks. You know, one of the things that I've said in my previous videos is that because I'm not an SEO expert and I'm not a guy that has been engrossed in that world, I've been engrossed in my website's world. I've concentrated on my website and I looked out there to find places to learn about my website and try to figure out what did Google want from me and my website during that time. And it seemed like it was working. It seemed like I was satisfying uh, Google's, um, Google's requirements, right? Um, you know, one of the things I've been thinking a lot about since the HCU hit is that um, even myself for a bit has complained about others that maybe shouldn't be benefiting in some of the rankings. Why is mine not up there where it's at, right? And it reminds me of sort of that philosophy of like, if you if you are following a car on the highway and you're both speeding, but you're the only one that gets pulled over, and then you say to the officer, well, they were, they were the ones speeding too, and the officer says, well, yeah, but I caught you, right? I think that the fact that some of those articles that are ranking shouldn't be ranking and the fact that I lost my rankings, they're not mutually exclusive to each other. I think both can exist and both can be true where A, yes, some of those things should not be ranking where they are, but A.1 or B, maybe mine still deserve to get it a little bit, right? And um, so I think that the longer that we keep telling ourselves that we didn't or try to keep looking through the rankings or blaming Google for what has happened here, whether we like it or not, and whether we agree with it or not, doesn't really, I guess, matter at this point. It's uh, now we just have to figure out what we need to do in order to make those things better. I was no doubt, if you look at my numbers here, I was no doubt um, under uh, you know the 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 guise of that I was doing everything that I was supposed to be doing because I was getting the results that I wanted from Google, which was rankings and which was traffic and then ultimately uh, affiliate commissions. And obviously Google has changed its mind. So just like any relationship where the other partner says to you, um, I think that I've outgrown you and unless you, <laughs> unless you can kind of come to terms with that, we're done. Uh, it's time to come to terms with that. So, you know, I appreciate all you guys watching, especially because uh, I, I'm just some dumb dumb here in the Midwest, just sharing some of his frustrations. I don't have people in my personal life to talk to about this. Uh, I started the channel also partly because I needed a place to be able to put some of these thoughts and these things and have some of these conversations. So I appreciate you that have subscribed. Appreciate you guys dropping things in the comments. I'll kind of keep letting you know what I'm seeing from my website, some of the stuff that I'm doing. Uh, there's a couple of other things that I've added on here recently. Um, to um, to my overall sort of plan at this point, you know, some design things that I have been working on. I'm not trying to do an overhaul at this point. 
Uh, I wrote an article here, uh, all AI that I just posted, just to kind of see what happens that if AI or if Google picks it up at all. So just kind of trying a couple of things. But again, look, I'm down here <laughs> and I was up here. So when you're down here, it's just like any anything, right? You're, you're willing to try all sorts of stuff because there's not much lower than they could possibly go. And maybe you hit on a little bit of something that starts to make sense. So that's it. Thanks y'all so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Peace out.